hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss a technical stuff related to power automate the topic is concurrency control or concurrency feature in power automate concurrency feature in power automate is such a feature which makes your power automate flow execution faster if you do not enable concurrency control it may take more time to execute but if you enable the concurrency which will enable parallel parallel execution of your flow to make it faster i will show you a demo so that you can understand how concurrency concurrency feature can be used to make your power automate faster so let's in, in this is my solution and let's create a flow and i want to create an instant flow so let me give a name update contact okay I want to update all the contacts uh, last name to a value which I want to run for each contact so I might have hundreds of contacts right so I want to update a box so let me use manual trigger and give update contact so this will be my name update contact and click on create so in my flow, what I want to use, I want to first use a list row step to read all contacts from the database, from the dataverse. So click on new step and connect dataverse. And in the dataverse con con connector, I can use list rows. List rows means it will list out all the uh, uh, records that you have selected in this table name so table name contacts means i want to read all contacts without any filters and i want to update each contact available in this list so click on new step and use again the microsoft dataverse and click on update row what i want to update i want to update each row so click on update row when you click on update row to add this action you can choose the table name to update i want to update contact which row you want to update each row available in this list row right so row id is the dynamic contact id from the previous step so contact id now it will create a loop so apply to each loop is automatically added when i am picking up each record from this list and updating something so what i want to update i want to update the city so let's say city i want to update in delhi right now what it will do when you run this flow it will update each record in the database one by one at a time one at a time but if you enable concurrency parallelism then it will make it faster first let let me show you without enabling concurrency control then we will enable parallelism and see and uh, we will ve verify that how it reduces the time so click on save and test it first i am not enabling the parallelism right now and concurrency control right now and execute this and see how many how many time or how much time it takes to execute each step so click on test click on test click on manually test and test the click the test button and it will connect the credentials with the connector click run the flow now once i click run the flow it will execute and a specific time will be taken to each step to execute right you see guys the flow run successfully that means successfully all contacts retrieved and updated you see the first manual trigger a flow taken zero second that was expected this is the trigger list rows taken one second apply to each taken three second why because we have five records and it is trying to update each record one at a time so it took three seconds right so total four seconds taken for this flow to execute now let us see the magic when you enable parallelism or concurrency control click on edit and click on this loop and click on settings in the settings i will enable this concurrency control right now the default one is off so what con 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 concurrency control is doing for each loop execute sequentially by default so if you do not enable concurrency control that means every every loop and every item available in that loop executes one by one sequentially but 
when you when you want to enable concurrency control it overrides the default setting so that it enables the degree of parallelism so parallel execution happens so if you switch on you can maximum enable 50 parallel process so it is the degree of parallel parallelism that makes your execution faster so it's it is 1 and 1 to 50 so if you make it 50 and click on done and click on save and test it again now see the magic how much time it takes to update that five records ultimately it is pointing to the dataverse and updating each record one by one but when i enable parallelism it is much much faster so click on manually test and run the flow now it also runs successfully the flow is running and see the timing this took zero second this took zero second and this took three second right so at least one second is saved here right so last time it was taken four second total but this time it taken three seconds so one second saved in five record processing so if you think about hundreds and thousands of records you can save significant times for this type of concurrency features enablement so thank you for watching this video see you next time guys bye